Hello and welcome back to Lamblighters League. My name is Heiken and this is the blind playthrough of Lamblighters League. Let's um, continue where we stopped uh, the last time. We defeated Nicastro in her tower, which means there is another mission over here, the Crossroad Archive, which is a high setup mission. Uh, that would be very interesting. But before we're going to do it, I can't let Nicastro just walk all over us. It's not going to work. So uh, let's defeat her and uh, get the Cyan bonus on top of it. I think it is a bit of a wasted opportunity. Instead of always getting Ether or more supplies when defeating the Cyan, I really think they should give you this KA resource. Uh, mystical or chemical now. It's, I don't know knockout dust uh, that would be great ceridium steel you apparently just get from the really tough missions but today we're going to um, toy with our good friend Nicastro as she's the one that is currently pulling all the strings and uh, we can hijack a couple of shipments for more rewards and look at that there's even one of those KA resources. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to do that. In terms of agents, uh, you are wounded, so we're going to take Eddie with us. I'm still not sure who the next agent is going to be. Eddie performed admirable. Uh, he solved his whole ammunition problem in my uh, book, and he deals a decent amount of damage. Uh, his multi-shot and marking ability is just really, really nice. He sets uh, the targets nicely up for Ingrid to finish, so not sure. Maybe we're uh, going to work with him. Healing consumable, targeted to all teammates in an area. Well, it's not bad either. Good. Let's start the mission and give it a go. It's gonna get hot. So gonna we got lost in transmission. And all we need to do is hijack sh uh, some shipments. How difficult could that be? Hmm? Not very much. Not very much. What do we have here? Got some ether. Can we open the wall? No, we cannot. Why are there no characters here? Got eyes on the crossroads relay. Not bad. I wonder where are all the enemies? Okay. Strange. In this type of mission, an agent will steal supplies from the banished court by hijacking crossroads, a piece of advanced metal industry technology. Court uses relay to instantly move supplies from one point of the globe to another, but agents can hijack the relay and reroute shipments. Hijacking, uh, begin hijacking by moving an agent next to the relay and press F. It takes time to complete the hijacking, indicated by timer in the upper left. At least one agent must stay close to the re uh, relay. If there are no agents close to the relay, the timer will pause and it will resume when an agent returns. After the shipment goes through, agents can either make uh, for an escape route or stay to try for two more shipments. Ooh. So this is a King of the Hill type of mission. A souvenir. Mm-hmm. Okay. Consider me intrigued, but equally confused. So we need to get one shipment, but we could get up to three shipments. Frag grenade. Mm. 
Does everybody have ac uh, actionable items? Yes. Wait here. I would say we might take another frag grenade here. Vigor tonic. What is that? What does that do? Refills the signature ability. Oh, that is incredibly good. Uh, but not on Eddie. Anna Sophie, however. You're taking that as well as a couple of other things. Eddie takes a hasten flask and I think we're okay for now. Instead of the hasten flask. Hmm. Difficult decision. Hold up. Let's take another frag grenade. Let me hold on to this. Oh, this would be so good. If we had the sniper here, that would be a fantastic setup. She basically could stay there all day long and uh, kill, kill, kill. What else do we have? Medical kit. Okay. Hmm. So... If we set ourselves up here and Eddie sort of over here, well, that's a good solid foundation. And Ingrid begins to reroute shipments, right? Right. Plotted a new course for the shipments. Okay, so this here seems to be the area where we need to magic. stay. And this seems to be the area where they are coming. Interesting. Good, we're m moving over. Eddie. <sighs> Send in the open, we could put him to here. Let's put him to here. If Eddie overwatches, that's going to be Got two shots. Out. Fair enough. And Ingrid just needs to get there. Ingrid is certainly not uh, the optimal character for that. Uh, apparently no overwatch when they are spawning. Five people. That's a lot. Together now. All right. Let's inspire. One, two. Cool. Will Eddie ever get more than that? That's just one hit for him. Uh, because he can't see them. Oh, come on. That position was really bad. Well, that's four. I guess that's almost as good as it gets, right? short of using that for a massive explosion. Good hit. That's a lot of damage.
Good, we got our cooldown reduction, not as much as we wanted, but a bit. Underestimate me. Hit two I of them. The way you fight is terrifying. Now that that's something you don't see good. every day. They, these two are taken out, which is good. Now. That's a kill. Can we kick them off of here? I think the answer is yes. Let's part ways. <laughs> nice. Does that restore AP? No. Almost. Um. Away. Good. Eddie, flush, one, two, three, gets a lot of ammo back. That's a kill. That's a knockdown. We are outside of the explosion range. I'm getting good at this. Great cooldown reduction, I like it. to do it but we're going to take some damage on Eddie. Didn't have to go this way. Because elsewise we could not have reset. You blinked. Which allows us to move all the way to here and That might even kill the guy. You stay away from me. Okay, for 40 points of damage I can live with the outcome. We have righteousness on our side. Good, time to reposition. Eddie moves as far as he can. Ingrid is a bit far off. I don't like that. Double move to here. And then straight up single move to there. Worst possible spot where they could spawn, right? Barely not far enough. That's disappointing. We 
can do it. Divine Mother, give me strength. Only one cooldown reduction. And of course. Taking notes on this? Eddie nicely prevents this guy from uh, from creating this illusion. Melee, melee, melee. These two are a problem. We will definitely take some damage. The question is how much? Hmm. I need to take care of my little one for a second. All right, back. So we can't let these two Falk steal damage, so I think the right call here is Your name's to heal up, right. take these two clowns out. It's as good as it gets. Armor shredded. Good, and we dazed one. So now this will be a bit more painful because now comes the retaliation, right? For 80. I don't think so. It's been a rotten grift of a life. But I still want more. I want to stay. I know it hurts, but just hold on. I will be there to help you soon. Okay, we are in dire straits. Rerouting the shipment. to here I will not let you die here I won't forget get you back up okay well, that's good enough for now we definitely need to uh, fully heal up Anna Sophie moves further. Let's get this that over. gives her one Looks AP like back. One. Luckily, with her healing ability, she's just absolutely monstrously good. Um, she's out of ammunition, though. But we need to set these guys up to die, and the best way of doing that is with an ultimate. This is how we say hello to Texas. That was incredible. 
Triple ammo back. And now it's cleanup time. One down. Um. Down, boy. That kicks her down. The other guy has uh, moved down as well. Um. There is a certain chance that this guy will be blind. Like odds a bit better now. Yep. Fifty percent chance to miss. And this is out of his direct side, just knocking down. So that was more crowd control than anything else. Wow, that was clever. Threateningly clever. Gets up. Haste and flask on you. There you go. Let me help you. Heal. Now what the hell was that? Stress removal or get, getting AP back. And signature charges for everyone. One, Don't two, stop now. thank you. Interrupts the overwatch and we're reducing. We're nicely reducing our cooldowns. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four. Want to dance? Too many misses, unfortunately. But we marked them. Good. This guy's dazed, which will give us a lot of advantages, and we need to be able to clean these three guys up because there is a new set of enemies coming in very soon. Hit. Good hit, by the way. In to kill. And another kill. Our dance is done. And another kill. I'm thinking about what I will do with this guy. 
could move and hit him, but we could also move to here. Take this. And essentially put an evasion on. And here I thought this party was exclusive. Take this. Good. Nice. I think after the second shipment, we're going to get out of here. Told you I could handle this on my own. Eddie definitely needs to reload. We hit, but we did not trigger a cooldown reduction. Unfortunate. Too bad, boys. So these two are taken care of. And these two are taken care of as well, which means we're only having one melee there. And how about we're just overwatching. Going somewhere? Good. You think this will stop me? Christ, that looked bad. Another shipment's almost ours. Keep fighting. Good. Let me help. Ah, oh, that cle uh, cleanses the poison. We definitely need a second signature charge ability and a reload. carry on so hit as much damage as I could uh, possibly dish out Was your last Another chance. kill. And we can take this guy out. <sighs> or stick and move and move uh, back there because there are a lot of melees. Potentially the better choice. See, there's even there's the knock uh, knockdown. Uh, 
Could also move to here. Still got that guy. Not bad, I like the dazing. We Stop heal ourselves. Breathing. Good to go. Moves into cover. Okay. We can remove the slot, that's not, not a problem. So you dare. Ouch. We can also I'll remove the poison. You dare. It can end like this. I won't let it. I won't. Just hold on. We will help you. More enemies coming in. Wonderful. Standing at the very edge, uh, this here does heal both. Divine Mother, grant me your healing miracle. More AP. Is Eddie slowed? No. Slow is cured. Moves out. There you go, you extra AP. Do it. Our AP man manipulation is what is keeping us very, very tight in these uh, fights. Fabulous hits. Brings us to Eddie. Slide him up. One, two, three, four. Run for the hills, boys! Good. One down. The dust. And Eddie still has his ammo well under control. Not perfect, but much better than originally. That's a kill. That's a hit. That's a kill, no. stick and move, and we're continuing to go over here. Knockdown that should prevent awesome. him from multiplying. And is now blinded, almost dead, and we can again stick and move over here. Hold position one more round, what almost there. Party. I want to leave. That's the second shipment. I say we have a third in us. I don't know if we have a third in us. Together now! No more AOE heals. Five rounds. I don't know, guys. Oy. 
Mm, not as good. Well, we all gotta die someday. Uh, forgive me, I'm trying. You took your eye off the prize. Good, we're starting with uh, right there. How do you like to taste the lead? Eddie takes these two guys out with the being uh, them being dazed. Oh wow, he's on fire today. Like I said, I don't think we have a third one in us. You're in over your head. This one is taken out for now. This will create a lot of stress for everyone. Triple stress. I am tired of your face. Yeah, if more people are coming in. Then I don't see how we can win this. Okay, we do have a chance to hit something. First of all, AP to the front line. Secondly, cooldown reduction. Okay, we could for free get to there. Let's just wait with it for a second. That's a hit. I charge extra for this. Hey, save some for me, will you? And that's another hit. Stick and move to go to here. I want to you blinked. knock this guy down. So he's blinded, not perfect, but it's okay. Good. This will get us out of the explosion. Gonna teach you to tangle with Eddie Sawyer. And we essentially got the move for free. Now all we need to do is... Huh? Ingrid had actions left. More enemies. Do we have another one in us? I don't know. I really don't know. No. 
Reloading. That reduces cooldowns, which is good. We can make it out of this. I know we can. Everybody gets buffed. It's necessary. More cooldown reduction. And he's at the breaking point. Buffalo Bill, eat your heart out. You really want to impress me? Do that again. Two shots. Let him have it. Estupendo. Good. I'm just using the time to reload because Eddie oftentimes doesn't get the time to reload. And we're moving up straight into the getting too crowded for my life. spawning area. Extra AP. Two more rounds. I hope they will stop spawning. I did not ask for this. Um, yeah, we need to get further in. We can't just stay back. We need damage. One, two, three, four. Dance? Good. The dazing already, quote unquote, soft crowd controls one of them. Before we do something, is this your kill? Yes, it is. And that will be a huge stress for all of you guys. Wonderful. Plus three stress means you're closer than ever to break. Fortunately, no crit. Otherwise, would have increased the stress levels. Yes. Now that's what I like to see. Good knockdown, and he's also super stressed out. These two are melee, so they can't really go anywhere. Another uppercut. Fantastic. He's also close to breaking. And this here is another crowd control. Very nice. We're getting... We're going to get some damage. Because... Nothing is for free. That's a lot of stress. Lucky no, luckily, uh, we do have... Ingrid does have a lot of stress available. Good free kill here. Damn, uh, free movement, that is. Just 
getting warmed up. Let me help. We're almost out of ammo. What a tough fight. Cooldowns are being reduced. Nice. This guy is also bleeding. A glass jump. Good, fantastic. Push kick. And these two will die next turn. More goons on their way. That's the last one. Now let's get out of here. One down. I like our odds a bit better now. Two down. The question is, are the enemies continuing to come in or not? All right, let's have some fun. Not bad. Because we cannot just run from them. That's never going to work. Reloading! Okay, soft crowd controlled him by dazing him. Ah, down to 12, that's not good enough. I told you I could handle this on my own. Very good shot. Good, that's stress for Even all of you guys. Falling in love. love it. These two are crowd controlled. Another crowd control over here. Away. And we're not moving close. That means they need to move and they only get one attack. Which is... I don't even need it because I do have another push kick. Let's park Thanks ways. to the immense cooldown reduction. Okay, enemies are continuing to spawn, that's uh, no no. In which case, we need to just run out of here.
push these guy two guys into each other. I regret that it came to this. We can do it. Moves to here. Overwatch is like this. And... Isn't that a lovely sight? We're moving all the way to here. Self buff evade. Which means if she runs in, she'll get an overboard shot and a blade storm. There. I don't think so. Look out! There's more of them. Wow. That's really a tough uh, map here. Move. Almost uh, there. Minus cooldowns, which is good. Moving into cover. I mean, the, these two would be held back yet another turn. I think it's not a bad idea. Down, boy. Alright, rushing back. Enemies are continuing to spawn. This is so brutal. Someone might be moving all the way up to here so that we can um, that we can kick them. All right, they can move.
four, which is moving to there. You couldn't keep up. Blind it. Not a bad idea. Ingrid moves out. And all we need to do is wait. Good. She stays. And the sky is blinded. Cool. We're dazed in return. Not cool. We made it! <laughs> Caught them with their britches down and robbed them blind. What a massive, massive mission. Not sure if uh, running a melee team was the best idea on that type of mission. But we got three shipments, so I wasn't even expecting that we had it in us. After the second one I was like, yeah, let's just see how many rounds uh, the third one would take. And then it said five and I was like, ah, potentially not going to work. We had no healing left over. But it turned out it uh, worked reasonably well. All right, so 10 skill points gained, but that's not all. We got a lot. Two cards, common cards. Um, after suffering a stress break, more damage or... Yeah, that's not really helpful for us. Good. Minus one threat, and look at that. We got supplies now over supplies over supplies. The Pharaoh's tomb is the origin of Strum's red sulfur. And I know how we will find it. Mm-hmm. Very good. So that Strum guys uh, mm, secret sauce is also on the line. How did Nicastro get so much done still it's unbelievable everybody else gets almost nothing done but nicastro continues to march forward mission was successful marto's shipments arrived here on the island just a few hours ago if i had any doubts that matter transportation really was possible they vanished in that moment i'll have my contacts stay vigilant for other opportunities to hijack the crossroads network I've been digging into the lead you uncovered. That Strom's red sulfur comes from an ancient Egyptian Strom. Good, we know that orphans. already. We know that already. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so, we got ourselves a KA. Which means... Uh, I would like to potentially upgrade the third me? hand. Um... Yeah, that's that's the best of all of the options. More ink is also nice. Now, nah. we're going for that. 
unfortunately do you want to know your fate we have no more ka so apparently all of our ethers are sort of useless couldn't keep away could you are sort of useless but we got a third undrawn hand so that in itself is good and we got skill points so whom are we taking um whom are we taking as our third that's a good question i don't know man there are a couple of options There are a couple of options. I'm not 100% sure. We certainly have a lot of supplies, so we could theoretically build better gear. Vitality gear, for instance, seems to be really good. I think we're buying one of those healing elixirs simply because they were really, really, really good. I also like this tonic. We gotta I don't want to sp uh, waste too much supplies got the last mission really took a lot of supplies off of us but what's the point in getting supplies Welcome. if we're immediately spending them so we just need to collect a few more items. Let's see if there is a world event. Yeah, for sure. We're not going to do nothing. We're spending some uh, supplies to counter that world e uh, event. So, look, Nicastro could be countered here, which we're potentially doing. Oh, oh, that looks good. Major presence in this mission. Crossroad sabotage. Destroy this region's Nicastro operation crossroad beacon. Okay. See, that would reset Nicastro. So we're going to do that mission next. Remember, trust no one. And... Do whatever it takes. The one thing that we now need to decide is who's going to be our extra agent. The last mission sort of taught me that you can't just run an all melee SWAT. Uh, this is this would be too, uh, too much. And her, she only has one ranged ability. So... I think it was uh, this one here. Range debuff, and then she has her curse debuff, right? Deals damage, inflicts poison. Melee Overwatch. She's fundamentally a melee character. Whilst Eddie, on the other hand, I mean, say about the guy what you want. But he does bring a lot of damage to the table for not being upgraded at all. I mean, he's still with his basic uh, damage, right? And maybe we can start with him. And then Celestine could be the other one when we do have enough uh, skill points. So for starters, we're taking those uh, three abilities because... Why not? Bullseye, ranged ability, devastating shot that is guaranteed to hit and has a plus 15% chance to crit and deals double damage. Deals additional bonus uh, damage against marked targets. So that's fantastic. 
if you're doing light them up and then you go with bullseye right afterwards it sounds great Eddie gains a plus 25 percent chance to cause marked okay uh, does this his normal shot deal marked no Okay, and the third one is passive abilities upon manually activating reload. Eddie gains a 20% crit chance until the next round. Passive reload abilities such as quick load do not trigger the effect. Okay, cool. So, we now have either light em up 2, which is 6 targets. Very, very nice. I think uh, that's a strong contender. More stress. Hmm. Eddie gains 1 ammo and a stacking crit chance. That's another strong contender. And barrage. I think we're going with uh, the six targets. Kills against marked uh, enemies. Reset light them up. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good ability. And barrage here. Uh, damage to all enemies. Improved cone. And this would be two charges, which would make him even more DPS-y. And in the middle here, hot lead, passive ability, 50 chance to shred five armor. That's not bad either. I think that's pretty solid. Overall, he looks very solid. Yeah, we need that extra reload. An extra ammunition. That's already good. Eddie is doing well. Yeah, we're going to spend the what next. Is it you seek? We are going to spend the next skill points into Eddie, mainly because we're fully maxed out, and as Sophie could theoretically get a weapon upgrade, but. Let's be realistic, if we get Eddie further up, then of course he would be the one uh, getting the weapon upgrade. And he went from 20 physical damage to 28 physical damage. So those few abilities alone have already increased his damage. Because she's at 30 and she's dealing a lot of uh, damage with her auto gun, just because uh, she has all of uh, the skills. So just by thinking about it, it might really be beneficial for us to um, to put more uh, points into Eddie so that all of these here deal 4% more damage, that we actually do have a, f a fantastic um, damage dealer. Passive ability, 10% chance to get plus one AP when he lands the crit. Can activate two times per round. Hmm. For the amount of enemies that uh, he's hitting, that could very easily uh, grant him the 2 AP. Specifically with Barrage. And if you think about that he has 2 Barrage, then um, Anna Sophie could even let him regain a charge of his Barrage. That's not bad at all. And the core combination, I think what makes him synergize well with Ingrid is that he deals a lot of AOE damage, so to speak, and Ingrid really profits from low targets to then set them up and kill them. Um, Eddie, uh, at, at his core, the, as far as I understand it, essentially he starts with light him up, um, things are getting out of their cover, and then he'll either bullseye and kill it right away, um, therefore get light him up um, again or you're just uh, you're just starting to hit him norm uh, normally and six targets with light him up then there is a chance to gain an uh, ability point then maybe a bullseye shot to kill one of uh, them and then another six of them, that's pretty good. Or think about the following, uh, those five enemies are spawning in and an upgraded Eddie 
essentially starts with a barrage, then a light them up, and uh, then a kill on one of them, basically, um, maybe with bullseye, basically resetting light them up for next round. And if there is even, maybe he's even getting with the barrage and light them up to AP, then it would be light, uh, barrage into light them up, into bullseye, into light them up yet again. And I think that combination would be ultra strong. I'm not even sure if a lot of them would survive it. It's a matter of uh, potentially dealing enough damage. So his physical damage needs to be upgraded. That's for sure. Don't have the right cards for him yet. I mean, his cards, nah, not uh, that uh, great. The day's one is fantastic. It's an absolute monster card. If we upgrade it, if the enemy is already dazed, he will knock them down. Ooh. Hmm. I think we're upgrading it, even if it costs us a lot of ink, because that is a huge upgrade. That is a huge upgrade. Just like the Herald was a huge upgrade. So this is good. We potentially need another kind of passive on hit ability for him because he hits a lot. And if we could get something that it would be, uh, then it would be good. You have something like this, Mr. Tech still graze for 15 damage. This one here, by the way, if we find another Serpent, I would, without a shadow of a doubt, put it on you. Because the as, as much as she reduces cooldowns, this is going to be completely nuts. If you upgrade it twice, it's down to six rounds, which means she can get herself extra AP. Alternatively, the satir, uh, satire would be a great or uh, the wave that that would that would by thinking about it that would potentially be the best third card here because then you could put forty percent extra damage on. Wow, that would be that would be nuts. Satur isn't bad either, so uh, maybe the snake. They're all uh, really good in combination with the uh, immense cooldown reduction. And that uh, Sage cooldown reduction works very well with Anna Sophie. Alright, that's it. That's the end of today's episode. It was a long one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like Le Lamp Lighter's leak content, leave a comment uh, down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye.